Hello everyone and welcome to day six of Inktober. How are you all doing? I'm I'm getting there. Hello, Sam here. Right, okay. So I bought something and it's actually turned up way, way sooner than I expected. Ooh, these are, this, this keeps, this top looks like it's just going to come to out any second and it's freaking me out. This is the Wink Whiter Than White, Whitest Ever apparently white ink this is i don't know how much of this is like a really good marketing thing or if it's a thing i don't know but i i appreciate effort being put in so this is like the beta sample from the simple labs look there you go it's the beta version i'm i'm helping them test it apparently i can't did i order two or does it come in two i don't know i may have made a bit of a mistake on the checkout but I've got two of them so this is the Stuart Semple the uh, Culture Hustle that's what I was thinking of the Culture Hustle white ink that they just brought out and also look I got some tattoos I got a little a little badge and there's a very nice little thing there I'll cover up the little code thing they've got just in case they don't want everyone to going on there but yeah there you go interesting so i've already got their blink ink which is really black black ink so we're gonna have a go now i've been using white paper and I, you can use this on white paper of course you can you can go over the top but i also have some of this i hope it'll be okay getting wet um i've used copics in this paper on this paper before don't know about this stuff but we'll find out but the word today uh because i'm doing my own word prompt for reasons it's inflate um i googled it all you get is balloons so we're kind of doing balloons so i've already done this sketch but i think i'm going to redo it on this paper and stick it in if i can and then we we'll use the the white ink on this for no reason other than to use the white ink but essentially they've got their their happiness enhancers everyone's like oh look at your lovely smiles I thought of an inflated ego, like their heads have got big, so they sort of become balloons and they're floating away. Um, so we've got our Lucky here and Melissa, M M Millicent, who are both, the other two, I guess, are not so enamoured with their new smile. So he's ignoring everything that's happening, the strange feeling that's spreading over his house. It's a whole thing. Just watch the other videos. And he's, um, yeah, he's flying up and trying to do his hair on the top of his head like his head's gone bloop and he's just got this little bit of head, hair on the top. Um, right, I've yammered on long enough. Stop stalling, Sam. I'm going to try and draw this again onto this and then we'll do the picture on this. There you go. I've got a plan. Okay, here we go. I, I made it so that their little bodies are in there as well. Right. Time for me to go completely silent <laughs> and try and do this. It'll be fine. I always have this problem. Always have this problem. I think I, I think I need to clean them better. But oh god. Oh I must put ink all over it. Oh that would not have been good. But alright, come on, work, work, darn you. Hey, oh dear. That's not where his head went. That's fine. I can't remember if I said it. Did I say it? I can't remember. I've been having so many problems with, um, wee, this is really thick. Do I want it this thick? I've done it now. With uploading my videos. The one day, where are we saying? Day five, no, day four, sorry, took 27 hours to upload that's not normal day five i believe is just it's just gone up it's just gone up now that that took about three hours so i think i'm back to normal but i have been doing this on the day i'm doing this on the sixth whether i'll get to actually upload it and stuff i don't actually know i try but i think it's gone back to normal now not 100 percent sure but something weird was happening. So anyway, just in case you were wondering, that's why it's all not being uploaded on the actual day itself. Why this is a bit thick. 
but well it, as I said it's happened now hasn't it let's put his little hair in little curly locks this is supposed to look curly locks I don't know if it looks like curly locks or if it's a bit weird but that's what I'm going for so we're trying to make the smiles look as weird as I can hopefully I am succeeding in the least weirdness at the very least let me have weirdness I don't know if you can hear a noise, but that is, who is that? That's the cat snoring. So there's a snoring cat. Um, just just to warn you, in case you were wondering what on earth was going on. I don't know if you could hear it. I say these things and then I listen back to the video and it's like, no, nope, can't hear it. All right, there he is. I'll put his eyes in when, oh, no, I can. I can do that now. I want them to be looking at each other like, Yay! <laughs> this is right, isn't it? This is what's supposed to be happening to us right now. Um, again, I haven't bothered, I have not looked at the upcoming words. I, I wrote them down, but I am um, I'm well known in my family for my terrible memory. I can watch something I watched like only a year ago and not remember what happened. It's great. Um, for watching new things, but I've written them down. I can't remember what I wrote down now. So this one was like, oh, blimey. What am I going to do for that? <laughs> we're doing this is what we're doing. There we go. They're cute. Weird, but cute. I don't know how I'm going to use this white ink. I'll find out. I guess do everything in black and then use it for highlights. I could colour in their eyes, couldn't I? Hmm. We'll do this, we'll let it dry and we'll have a think about it. Right, so she's quite tall and gangly and I want the clothes to look like, I guess like they're falling actually. If I do it that way, if I did it like that, it would be they were lifting up. But as it is, I want it to look like they're they're moving anyway. And I've given up on hands. Th these are their hands. That's what's happening. And it's fine to so give her a little bottom. You got a little bottom. Oh, there, see, little bottom. Bottoms are funny. There you go. Right. Oh, oh, other bit of hair, other bit of hair. So that's going to go like that. There. Okay. Right, we let that dry. And then we have a think about what we're actually going to do. Are we going to paint this in? Cross hatch thing? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, I have rubbed all the pence off. I've left some, I've left some gaps, so we'll fill in. I think I'm going to do a bit of cross hatching. I'm going to paint it, you know, ink it or whatever. And then we'll see what to do with this. But look, it does keep coming off. It hasn't, it hasn't leaked. I'll give them that. But see if it's gonna do it on camera. It's kind of it's kind of coming up. It's kind of coming up. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it just keeps popping up. I keep pushing it down. I don't know if that's just this one, but oh, look, see, look, hmm. If if you if you're watching, if you're watching, there's a little little issue with the packaging there, but it hasn't come out, and it was. You know, it was in a nice envelope, padded envelope, and that didn't it didn't leak anywhere. So I'm 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 putting it like that, and we'll we'll keep an eye on it. But um, I do really like the way they package their stuff. I I like something a bit more different and interesting. I really want if they do ever get hold of this, and with my itty bitty little group of sub subscribers, as I am tiny, you never know if they ever want to send me. They do these um like bottles are called potions of acrylic paint and they, they, they are quite they are quite it's like 70 80 pounds for the set and I keep looking at them thinking no I can't but if they ever want to send me them I'm not going to say no right what am I doing I still want his eyes to be quite sunken because he's he is the idea is they may temporarily 
be going along with the the outward appearance of happiness like you know small love kind of thing so you know and he's he's got a new friend and they're both kind of floating around like this this is when the scratchiness comes in quite handy when i want to do that um otherwise no thank you but they're not they're not cured they're not okay they're both the, the horrible feeling in the stomach is still growing and it's still there and causing issues. So that's what we're going with. So I still want him to have his sunken eyes. So go around that a little bit more. And then, oh, cross hatching. As always, my, sun, my light is coming in this way. I don't know why I always do it that way, but I do seem to. Again, no idea what I'm doing, but I know I want to kind of do it. I hope eventually I'll get the hang of this. What do you reckon? So we're almost a week into this now, day six. How are you doing now? I think I'm going to ask you every single time. And quite a big shadow underneath, sort of on the neck, because his head is quite big. <laughs> it's grown, bless him. So we'll do quite a big shadow there. And then I guess cross hatching here I think with cross hatching do you know what if you if you shove it on with enough confidence you can say yes I meant it to look like that <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm I'm hoping for anyway I want it quite dark sort of under the these bits of hair so it sort of looks like hopefully like it's sticking up I think as long as you keep an eye on where the the where you, you know, where the light's coming and where the shadows should be. But that's the thing, it's, it's figuring out where the shadows should be for me. It's quite the science if you think about it. Did anyone else do their picture and you're like, quite, I'm quite proud of it, you know, I'm happy enough. And so you, you stick it on, on Instagram or, or something and then you look at what everyone else has done, you think, oh, blimey. Thanks, thanks for sharing that wondrous piece of art for me to put my next to. <laughs> there were some absolutely amazing things going on with this. And uh, I, I think it, what do you reckon? I, it can sort of get a bit like, oh, what's, what's the point? Why am I doing this? But it's not the point, is it? It's, it's you and your art journey. And how you want things to be. You shouldn't compare. It's good to look and it's good to think, yeah, okay, that's something I'd like to do. And I'd like to try that style and I'd like to, to get to that level. But you can't compare. But you still do. Oh, his little, uh, little claws. So how does that look? Glory? I hope so. This is my, my problem. I'm so impatient and I end up rushing and hating that I rushed. But it's fine, it's fine. I'll make a little rounded bottom. <laughs> there you go, he's got a little bum there. Even more now. Mm, how's he looking? Do I reckon we need shading along here? I make him look even more jowly. Maybe put a little something along here, I don't know. How's he looking? Oh, he's all right. I'm gonna colour him in as well. Or, you know, ink him in. <gasps> if we miss, if we mix the black and the white, will they mix, do you reckon? Both their inks. And then we can have grey. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Right, same as with him. I want her to have, um, uh, bits around her eyes but I want to use a bit of the ink because I want it to be scratchy so oh his mouth his mouth let's colour this in I think that's worked <laughs> you use up a lot of ink on his on his mouth so there you go that's a bit better yeah. all right finish the mouth off yeah, yeah I, I like him I like him it's a weird old style but I like Right, so the light's coming down here. I kind of want a little something along here, I think. 
under her chin. We've got a little double chin going on there. And what was she wearing? I think she's just wearing sort of whitey, grey type colours. But the sun's there. This would be. Can't I did that way too thick. It's annoying. Never mind. It's a happy accident, I'm sure. But there you go. And here as well, because this is casting a shadow onto her skin there, I think. I don't know how deep I have to go with this. But I'm sure it's it's every, everything will turn out. I'm looking forward to using this white. And by looking forward, I mean I'm scared. I'm yet to decide how I want to do her hair. That's the only thing. Um, do I want to cross hatch her hair? I kind of did on the other one. And then just, you know, use the paintbrush. Let the shine be on her shoes. I don't know. Possibly along here. I'm going for those like pet and leather Mary Janes. No idea why. I thought she'd like them. Okay, hair. Um, I don't know. So th this is the stage where somebody came in and I got really embarrassed and realised I'm talking to myself in a room and I stopped. But anyway, we're having a go at this white ink. It's very nice. I'm not exactly an expert on white ink, but it does what it said. We needed um, two. I did two layers on their eyeballs and that, that worked quite well. It is pretty opaque and it looks it looks really nice on the uh, on the brown paper. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. There you go. So a bit of speeding up here. Um, yeah, so I did the eyeballs and obviously their teeth. Their teeth are white. Their their happiness enhances, and I had to do the, um, the uh, the the uh, what they called, the irises, the pupils, the the black spots. I had to do the black spots again. I tried to be very careful, but I went over the black lines a little. But then you just go back over again, with the dip pen, and do that. So yeah, I'm I like this. I like the whole concept of it being in a test tube. I like that they, they put a lot of effort into their their packaging and you know what they do and their their stuff the culture hustle stuff I've had so far it's really good I like the whole idea so there you go go and get yourself some can't remember how much it was it was fine anyway let's have a look yeah as of today it's actually the 7th of October when I'm doing this uh, it's still up there limited stock 11 99 and yes it is the two uh, the two test tubes so yeah, I, I would recommend it. I quite quite enjoyed doing it. I like, as I say, the look on the brown paper. And then we just did some shading. Um, we'll go back to Talking Sam in a minute because the person who walked in went upstairs for a shower. So I could start talking again, which, yeah, YouTube is a weird thing to do. Okay, I'm back. I'm on my own again so I can talk to myself without anyone looking at me like I'm funny. Anyway, I've done some stuff. Um, uh, I went over the eyes a second time, maybe a third time, I'm not sure. I've also coloured this in black. Um, I put this down, first I put it as, as far over here as I could and then I thought, well, why don't I do it so it's a square and then bits of them are coming out of the square. I quite like that idea, hopefully when I take it off that'll work. You never know. Um, so I'm gonna, I want to do their clothes. I'm not going to go over their clothes in white or her clothes in white. I don't know how that's going to look. Um, if we water down this white, what do you reckon? We just make it, yeah, which one shall I use? They've kind of melded in with the, I don't, I don't clean things properly and I should, but there you go. Um, let's Bung a bit of water in there, see how that looks. Because I quite, you know, I, I, I like the brown maybe for their faces. But then I want to differentiate the, um, I'll see that on the uh, brown. That would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Differentiate from their, uh, yeah, clothes. Um, could do, couldn't I? 
but that's just white so this is the watered down version a bit too watered down maybe i don't know let's have a go why not definitely this this is like i don't know like a this, i've got a sailor suit in my head i actually want to use a bit of the actual white on it too much too much I don't want it to take away from the white teeth and eyes. That's the only problem. So I don't want it too white and that's too white. That's okay, actually. I need to go over the black a bit. I may cheat a little bit and use a micron. Where's the link? That's okay, I think. I'm using the, the ink straight now. Just a little bit. I think that's okay. It's if I only go over it the once, it's still going to be less opaque than than the eyes and the uh, and the tooths. So I think I'll be all right. And then maybe we'll mix it with the tiniest amount of black and go over again with um, some shading. What do you reckon? I just watched an episode of um, What If. I think it's called. It's a cartoon of what if one decision was made differently, like in the Marvel Universe, and, and different things happened. I just watched someone where Agent Carter was was changed and uh, turned into Captain America. She's not called Captain America, but gets the superpowers. It's very good. Very good artwork. Not exactly an expert on cartoons, but I thought it was bloody good. Worth a watch, I'd say. Do I want? She's going to end up look like, looking like, looking like a sailor. Um, maybe it just a bit of grey for. Where did the grey end up? I definitely made a grey. Lost my grey. Yeah, I think I've got a grey. I don't know. Oh, it's it's yeah okay. It's it's grey as opposed to watered down black. There is a difference, but it's quite watered down. It's not working as well on this paper as I would have liked, but that'd be okay. I just want slight difference to the skin rather than I'm colouring it in, I think, anyway. And somebody has commandeered my office, by the way, where I edit videos. They're doing their thing in there. <laughs> so I ain't editing this tonight. So this, again, will definitely be up. The next day but uh, I'll put it on Instagram it's, it's weird it's kind of like I feel I have to prove that I'm I'm doing this once every day I don't know why I have that issue but I do and I admit I admit it's an issue I feel like with NaNoWriMo the National Novel Writing Month which is next month so that's, that's fun. These two things come one after the other. But I, I have to do it every day and I have to. And sometimes I just feel like I've got something to prove. I have nothing to prove, but there you go. And I leave their skin with just just the brown and a the little bit of shading. I may do a little bit more shading, but essentially that's it. Him, I kind of... Maybe if I got a bit of brown ink and use that to shade because he's a he's a half bear, meaning that he's he's brown, um, uh, apparently. So we'll have a go. A little bit of cheating. We're going to use the Bombay Bombay India ink in brown. That just gives it a bit more, a bit of something something. So we'll, we'll we'll have a go at that, just to give an idea that it's brown rather than grey shading on him. I like the way it's it's sort of going into the black of the background. I'm actually glad I did that. I'm quite enjoying this picture, which, which is a big thing for me to say. I generally look at what I do and think, ah, because again, you're looking at Instagram and you're looking at what everyone else does. But I am happyish. Yeah, I'm happyish. Not bad. Uh, I think this is dry. I hope so. I want to do little little splodges. Uh, first off, let's do their eyes because I always forget something. 
There we go. Right, I should use this to, to sort of go around a few bits I've overdone just a little bit. Usually the cross hatching going into the black, so they're sort of like make them sort of disappear into the black a bit more, or am I gonna regret that once it's dried? Let's do a little bit. Just just a little bit, so they're a bit more fuzzy around the edges, maybe. Let's go over a little bit of this where the, the white's gone a little bit too much over that. I should have done the white first, probably. Um, but I didn't, so what are you gonna do? Okay, I was thinking of doing like stars. Um, so I need some just the pure white. I think that's this one. And just do some stars. This white is, I, I like it. I am impressed, I think. Let's do some bigger ones. It's holding its own, look. I mean, I was gonna put it on a bit thick because of what I'm doing. But, you know, I, yeah, okay, I'm happy. Don't want to overdo this. I always overdo things. And do some more, like, I don't know. I ruin it if I try and do too much. What do you reckon? I think I'm happy. It's like seven o'clock at night. I want to stop eventually. <laughs> I think I, I think I actually like this. I think I actually like this. I don't know if I want to do something quick with their little tongues. Just maybe a little black in there. Or, you know, watered down black or grey. Just to give it a bit more difference. But I think, I think I'm happy. Oh, I think I might be happy. I'm going to take the tape off and see how much of a mess I made. Are you ready for the, for the tape enjoyment section? One a bit funny there, but not not bad. I'm gonna do something here because oh, I've got so many paint brushes and stuff in here. Um, yeah, because of that. There we go. Um, I think I'm happy. I think I actually am. Let's just do it again. As she says as she goes in to do more. Just done the same thing there. All right, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. There we go. That's what I've done. I, yeah, okay. So they've got inflated heads. Um, inflated ego, I guess I'm going with. But there you go. That is, oh, day six done. We're almost, oh, a quarter of the way through. We will get there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe and all that awesome business. And I will see you next time for whatever I get up to. Bye.